Well, if Houston knows anything, it's hurricanes. And today we could get a glimpse at what the 2025 hurricane season will look like. ABC 13's Brittany Wilmore joins us now with what those early predictions say. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning. Yeah, the Atlantic hurricane season starts June 1st, but it's a reminder that's really not that far away. In fact, some organizations have already released their predictions. Last week, AccuWeather said we could see 13 to 18 named storms, with three to five of those being major hurricanes at Category 3 strength or higher. AccuWeather believes this year could be similar to 2024, one of the most devastating and costliest hurricane seasons on record. We know that well. Barrel was the earliest Atlantic Basin Category 5 hurricane on record, and because of its catastrophic damage, it, along with Hurricanes Helene and Milton, have now all been retired from the hurricane name list. This week, experts, including our chief meteorologist Travis Herzog, are gathered at the annual National Tropical Weather Conference in South Padre Island to talk lessons learned and find new ways to protect and alert the public before a storm comes. They are exploring some new ways to communicate the risks from the wind and the storm surge. They were kind of gauging our, our, our thoughts and feedback on some new products that they might be issuing, our refinements and enhancements to some of those products. So they're just kind of uh, tossing around among the community of professionals that are a part of communicating these hazards. What do you think is going to be most useful for the people that you serve? Well, later this morning, the team at Colorado State University who pioneered hurricane forecast outlooks will share their first predictions for 2025. Then this afternoon on Eyewitness News at 4 p.m. 5 and 6, Travis will interview CSU's lead researcher, Dr. Phil Klotzbach, about why he thinks certain parts of the Atlantic Basin are favored more than others. Travis will also discuss a new tool to help you assess your home's resiliency to natural disasters. But first, we will check in with meteorologist Alita Loresca. And Alita, it is yes. never too early to check that hurricane and make sure that you're prepared. That's correct. I mean, really year round here living along the mm -hmm. Gulf, uh, we need to be prepared because it doesn't take just a tropical cyclone, right? Uh, flooding rains. I mean, even during the winter time, we try to be prepared yeah. at all times. Yeah, it right? doesn't take much. Like you said, stay ready. Yeah.